Hi Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your March general read. Uh, for those of you who are new to tarot, you might benefit from reading my descriptions box or the pinned comments below, okay? Um, just to help you get a clearer understanding of how this works, so that I can be freed up and just get straight into this read, okay? Capricorn Collective, please, for March 2021. Oh, okay. Oh, you got three. Um, right, fork in the road. This one has been coming out quite a lot this month, quite a lot. So you're pretty much in the energies that a lot of people are in right now, which is um, trying to make a decision based on what to do next, what direction to go in, right? This is all about um, when you've made this decision, understanding that you'll be okay with whatever the consequences of that decision might be, all right? So consequences don't have to mean something negative, all right? It can be a positive consequence, it can be negative consequence. It doesn't always have to be bad, right? It's being safe in the knowledge that you did the right thing for yourself in that exact moment, okay? It's living without regrets. If you, if you don't try something, you'll never know, right? It's that. And then you've got time to go. Endings completion, nothing more to learn from this situation. Take stock of what you've learnt and move on to new experiences. So either someone's trying to hold on to you, Capricorn, or you're trying to hold on to someone or something, right? Um, if this is a situation or a person, you'll, you'll know, okay? If this is resonating for you, no one knows your life better than you do, Capricorn, okay? So, so you'll know where this fits in. Um, whether it's a situation or a person, it's saying that holding on to that thing, should we say, um, was no good. It was something that was no good for you and it, it's, time, it's time to release it's time to make room for something new. Something or someone who is more congruent to your lifestyle. Um, it's interesting. And then you've got imagine. From imagination to manifestation, creative, uh, creative thought, daydreaming, avoid catastrophizing. So I, I wanna use the word fear, but it's more, it, it's more you being cautious rather than scared, all right? Um, you, you're you not big on risks, taking risks. You like to know what's what, um, what's happening, when it's happening, how it's happening, who it's happening with, all the details. Um, that's absolutely fine. Sometimes though, there's, there's gonna be situations where you're not gonna have all of the answers and that's okay. That's absolutely okay. We can't possibly all be expected to have all of the answers all of the time. That there is a concern that um, you're worried here about falling flat on your face with something, right? And it, it's that concern of you tripping up that's stopping you from moving forward, okay? They're, they're saying here that, that it's time for you to take that gamble. You've, you've looked at this situation from all different angles. You, you kind of already know what's what, right? Um, it, you're being reminded here to trust in your own intuition. And they're saying as well that if you do fall flat on your face with this brand new direction, whatever that is for you, if you do fall down on your face, so what? You know, um, you live and learn, right? There's, there is an element of the, the need to take some kind of a risk with something here, Capricorn. Ultimately though, I'm also seeing that you will benefit from this as well. I am seeing that. Once you get over this hurdle of being overly worried about making a mistake, once you get over that, everything else will flow really, really nicely, all right? Capricorn, it's okay to make a mistake. 
like for real it is and if you, if you find yourself surrounded by individuals who are somewhat unforgiving to mistakes being made then that tells you that um, the individuals that you're surrounded with are not your people like for real you know everybody is going to trip up take a tumble everybody has to uh, what is it they say fall on their sword every so often it's perfectly normal um, I, I do feel that some Capricorns are surrounded by individuals who are expecting nothing short of uh, perfection from you all of the time and guess what that's just not possible it is really not possible um, that this could be people from your past that have kind of installed these things into your mind when you were younger and <clears throat> it, it plays out in your adult life where you, you're always worried about making a making a mistake taking the wrong path all of this, um, you know, because you were surrounded by individuals who were just really unforgiving and really expecting top quality all of the time. It's exhausting. It's really, really exhausting, Capricorn. So it, it's time here for you to um, maybe try reprogramming the, uh, the, the messages that were put into you at a young age. Um, so that you can really start to feel a lot more comfortable with making the right decisions for yourself and, and to not punish yourself as well whenever a mistake is made because that, that self-punishment, that really does hold us back from evolving. Okay, so I'm going to start pulling your tarot and we'll see if we can get further into this uh, reading for you, okay Caps? It's Capricorn's current energy, please. loads wow you do this to me every time capricorn it's so funny it's like you keep trying to get extended readings off me right ten of coins virgo energy ace of cups water it's pisces cancer scorpio three of coins uh, mars in capricorn let me think yeah mars Mars in Capricorn, uh, two of wands is Aries, specifically it's Mars in Aries, the seven of wands is Mars again and this time Mars in Leo and then the two of swords Libra, Moon in Libra. Right, so your current energy Capricorn, it's funny how these cards are coming out in pairs look. Okay, <laughs> there's a lot that's going on here. Right, so you're currently focused on home, finances, family for some of you. You're focused on your future. You've got the Ten of Coins. That's literally all about uh, generations, stability, having a safe home, having a safe family, being a part of something that's safe something that you love and can cherish with the Ace of Cups. We're seeing here that this pertains to your love for family. We're also seeing with this particular combination, uh, for some of you, you absolutely love being the provider for your family as well, right? Um, that there's something quite empowering about being able to bring home the coin, uh, bringing home enough to pay all the bills, maybe even put some aside into savings for some of you. There's something really, really empowering about that. This is showing me that one minute you live in this and then the next thing you know, something has come along and it's thrown a spanner in the works, right? So it's like all of these plans, two of ones that you had for your future, all of the all of these uh, grand designs that you had with your with your partner or with your business, all of those have been thrown into disarray here. Seven of ones, two of swords, 
and so you left in this mind frame of trying to pick out WTF happened first and foremost and how the heck to fix it right this combination is pretty it's pretty abrupt there's something really abrupt with this Right. Your seven of wands is all about uh, feeling as if everybody around you is somehow uh, attacking you or, or trying, trying to pick arguments with you. Um, being, being the, uh, not, not the source of someone's frustration, but like the, uh, the target of someone's frustrations. So you're feeling attacked from all angles at this point in time, internal, external. Um, it, it's just, it makes me feel really quite lost for words actually, because it feels like you're getting the blame for something as well. Um, and that, that's why you're stuck to a sword. That's, that's why you're at a crossroads. You've got two twos as well. Now, both both of these pertain to making a decision. And you had it there as well. It was literally your first card out. So you, you've got three twos. Lots of decisions here for you to make, Capricorn. And you're stuck. You're genuinely really, really stuck. Because as we've seen, one minute you had it all sorted. You, you had it good. It was all planned out and everything. Things were just going absolutely amazing, and then, bam, it, it's it's all turned upside down, completely turned on its head, and it, it's difficult to to see any kind of clear way forward from this point, right? I don't mean for the read to get all depressing. I genuinely don't. I do have to read the cards as I'm seeing it, okay? Um, so I do apologize if it's getting a bit too deep and heavy, um, but it's there, it's definitely there. You're trying to turn this negative into a positive though, but the, the way that you're going about it might not necessarily be the best way, okay? Because from what I'm seeing is for a lot of you, not all of you, but for a lot of you, you're blaming yourself as well for, for this turning on its head. There is absolutely self-blame here. And you need to try and remember, you need to try and remember Capricorn that we're, we're taking responsibility and acknowledging any kind of part that you might have played into a situation is healthy. Taking all of the blame, however, is completely and utterly toxic, right? You cannot be expected to shoulder the entire blame for everything. There's multitude of reasons for, for this situation playing out, right? Um, you must never ever dwell on those feelings of negativity. It's like, fair enough, if, if you did something wrong, absolutely, hands up, I did it, my bad, I'm totally sorry, Th that's fine. But for you to sit there and shoulder the entire blame is not right, okay? And that's, that's the negativity that we're seeing that was playing out in your oracle read. It's that shame I, I, I don't know, but someone, there, there's a Capricorn here that is specifically being made to feel ashamed. And I'm not seeing that it was completely your fault or even your fault at all, to be honest with you. I'm seeing Capricorn that for most of you, this is something that happened to you, not something that you orchestrated it's certainly something that you're left with having to pick up the pieces absolutely but i'm i'm not seeing the the catalyst to this um destruction it's like this good life here has 
fallen through your fingers you know it's like sand just falling through your fingers and it's like try as you might you, you can't you can't keep a hold of it you can't make it right you can't fix it and I think that's what the issue is here Capricorn you're stuck on knowing how to fix a situation that is outside of your control and then it's like you're blaming yourself Okay, let's see outside influences affecting Capricorn, please. Queen of Wands. So that's Aries. What? Aries energy. Bloody hell. Capricorn. Seriously? Honestly, every single Capricorn read that I have ever, ever done, your cards come out like this. It's incredible. Two of Cups, Cancerian, Ten of Wands, Sagittarius, Eight of Swords, Gemini, it's way too many cards, King of Coins, Taurus, Five of Swords, Aquarius, Six of Cups, Scorpion, Page of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I tell you what I'm going to do, Capricorn. I'm going to read these ones out to you and then I'm going to put them back in the deck, okay, so that we can get um, a decent size spread for you, like as a smaller spread. Um... Okay, so there's, you've got an attraction here with the Queen of Wands energy. Now, either you could be the Queen of Wands or someone else that you're dealing with is Queen of Wands energy, right? Cards in Tarot is not gender specific, right? It's just the energies. There's an attraction here. However, somebody, somebody, this could well be you Capricorn, very, very busy at this time probably trying to juggle multiple um, projects at once, trying to do lots of different things at the same time. Um, being, being productive with it, yes, absolutely, but not necessarily having time for two of cups, romance, love, partnerships. Um, I'm feeling that someone is a little bit of, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not recluse, a little bit of a loner. Someone, someone who uh, finds comfort in keeping busy. That they, they would rather focus on work than having to uh, cooperate with other people. There's a bit of that that's going on. We've got overthinking and heavy burden as well here, not seeing a way forward. Um, King of Coins, which is finances, money, commitments someone determined to win, win at all costs. Someone could have lied about a commitment or someone could have lied about finances as well. And then Six of Cups, Page of Swords. So someone from your past, uh, nostalgia, soulmate energy. You've either you're watching a soulmate or a soulmate is watching you. And there's there's a feeling of reconciliation here with this particular Six of Cups as well. Right, so I'm going to try that again and we're going to see if we can get slightly less cards for you, Capricorn. Okay. See, outside influences. So what I could ascertain, Capricorn, is uh, for some of you, not all of you, there could be a soulmate type connection around you um, that is influencing your current decision making. Okay, they're, they're either influencing you directly or energetically. You take it as it resonates. And also, you can get lots of different types of soulmates as well. Okay, it's not all just romantic. Right, so again, in your outside influences that's affecting you at this time, again, we've still got this attraction. Um, your Two of Cups came out again, so it's double down on the message of somebody might well be far too busy in order to engage in any kind of uh, commitment or relationship. And then the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, a painful ending. So there's it, it's kind of like uh, someone outside of you is that they're quietly acknowledging that that you're either straight up not interested or you're too busy and they've they've backed off you know they've um energetically they've they've ended the situation but there is still a lot of love here there is still certainly so so much attraction here but it's like okay 
I'm, I'm going to back off from this situation. Capricorn's not really in the mood for anything right now. I'm, I'm going to back off. I'm just, I'm just going to leave it. What's the outcome of this? What? Okay, so your outcome is the Nine of Wands and Wheel of Fortune. Um, both of those are Sagittarius. The Nine of Wands is Moon in Sagittarius. So things are going to do a turnaround here quite drastically, Capricorn. You've got the Six of Wands, which is Leo energy. Uh, if you give me a second to remember, it's Jupiter. No, Mars. No, Jupiter. Jupiter and Leo. And Seven of Coins, Taurus. Um, victory, success. And in fact, Capricorn, we're actually seeing someone's determination to be successful pays off. The Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior, right? The Nine of Wands is someone who has been through a lot, a lot. They've, they've made a lot of mistakes. They've um, made many different types of comebacks. It's someone who, uh, if, you, if you knock them down, they're just going to keep getting back up again and up again and up again. It's someone with the attitude of, uh, you hit like a B-I-T-C-H. Okay. When they're talking about their life in general. They say that life hits like a B-I-T-C-H. Um, and that they're never going to quit, that they're never going to give up. I'm feeling that this is you, Capricorn. It doesn't matter how, how much devastation you go through, how much you lose in the process, you never quit, you never give up, and you keep pushing forward. You're very, very dedicated and you can be quite single-minded as well when you set yourself to a certain target. Um, you're driven to succeed very, very much so. And that's literally what this combination is telling me in, in your outcome, that your drive to succeed will ensure your success. Okay, so whether this is about a career or love or a family situation, it doesn't really make much of a difference. The, the main thing to take away from this read Capricorn is the finer points, which is, yeah, you, you're going through a really shit situation right now, right? Um, you're going to come out of the other end of this, though. You absolutely will. The same way that you came out of the other end of all of the other shitty situations that you went through in the past. Six of Wands. In traditional tarot, that is literally the Lord of Victory, right? It's the homecoming card. It's being celebrated. It's being recognised. So let me show you this, Capricorn. The universe is recognising you. Um, that they're recognising your hard work and your diligence, first and foremost. They're recognising your... Um, your will to succeed, your drive, your passion, your ambition. They're recognising your past as well. Literally everything that you have been through to get to the point that you're currently at, Capricorn, you're being recognised for it in a huge, huge way. These two cards together is an unstoppable force. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, that you could not achieve right now. Nothing, not, not, not anything. This combination is telling me that you're highly spiritual, spiritually guided and protected. You're heading in the right direction as well with the Wheel of Fortune. And success is pretty much guaranteed here with this combo, like for real, for real. So whatever it is that you've been doing, Capricorn, keep doing it. Seven of coins, the card of harvest, uh, reaping the rewards of everything that you have done. Um, it's reaping what you sow. It can also be a very karmic card as well. Okay, so I'm seeing with the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Wands, 
and the fact that you've got the nine of wands you just refuse to give up karmically that's played out very very well for you very very favorable this is you getting back on your feet and getting your life back on track it's a beautiful read it really is your blockage the page of coins earth energy taurus virgo capricorn um, now for some of you this is interesting because there's a few different messages here with this page it's about curiosity it's all it can be about extending out an olive branch as well so for some of you not all of you the blockage is the fact that an olive branch has not yet been extended out either by you or to you okay you have to decide what side of the fence that you're sitting at for these reads because they are general okay so for some of you that's the blockage for others of you education there's there's um like a, a lack of education here that pertains to um something that you're trying to achieve so let's say this is a career reading for you um then this would be saying don't worry too much you can learn the job while you're doing the job okay so so you can learn as you go along basically uh, for some of you that's the blockage you feel that you're out of your depth that you uh, you don't know enough about this certain career of whatever it could be um, you feel that you might have uh, bitten off more than you could chew there's I tell you what that is that's imposter syndrome it's imposter syndrome some of you are suffering from that and it's causing a blockage to your energy um, for others of you this can pertain to being uncertain about your your path so pages do pertain to new paths new directions and um, that's where the curiosity comes in from um, so the blockage for some of you can also be that you're you're uncertain uh, that there's something um about uh, you, you know it's self-confidence and queen of cups under there cancerian energy um some of you have never truly experienced what it is to be loved the queen of cups being hidden under there as a blockage um some of you love makes you feel really really uncomfortable it can almost feel like a trap as well for some of you because you're not used to it properly like to, to being absolutely and totally and utterly loved and that's the message for those of you who are dealing with a soulmate type connection okay right so let's start pulling you some guidance i do apologize but this read is going to be quite a bit extended purely because of the amount of um the amount of cards that were coming out okay right so you've got the grass is greener passing up options too quick to decide take time to know them gratuity changes circumstances and money issues yes we we saw that as is no real surprise that that's come out <clears throat> because we saw it there didn't we on your top row uh fighting over money healing the root chakra lack of trust or fear in safety security survival or control so they're saying right see for those of you where this is about career something about your career fell through your fingers because there is something I know how much a cliche this sounds okay please don't hurt me I just have to read the cards as I see it there's something much more in alignment with um with your with your talents around the corner for you there's something where you're going to earn a lot more money um than your last position you know there's I know how horrific it feels to lose a career right I'm with you on that and if someone had sat there and gone yeah but there's something better around the corner <clears throat> if someone had said that to me I swear down I would have slapped them um, because my past career I loved it right so I, I understand I get it your cards are saying 
that the next career path that you take Capricorn is going to be very, very lucrative, more, um, more stable than your last one. OK, um, I, I know how patronizing that sounds. I understand. I've been there. OK, I completely get it. For those of you where this is pertaining to uh, romance, that, that soul connection that we were seeing in your read, uh, for those of you where that's the, the most important thing in this read for you, um, they're saying, OK, there's, there's another one around you. Um, someone, that there's a Capricorn here who is in a relationship currently where there's nothing but fights, arguments and them taking out their frustrations out on you, making you feel like you're the failure, this, that and the next, quite possibly because of a job loss, right? So it's like they're, they're blaming you for the world's problems, right? We've already gone through that. They're saying here, um, listen, you, you don't need that kind of situation. You don't need that kind of drama. It's time for you now to pick a different path because I'm sorry to say it, the grass is greener someplace else. You don't need that kind of BS in your life, Capricorn. You really, really don't. Nobody does. Have a healing message, please, for Capricorn. Boundaries, yes. You're currently having your boundaries trampled all over. It says, chase your dreams. Opportunities are endless. That's the number five as well. And fives can pertain to fear of change. Right. So you get three messages. I'll just turn around a second. Oh, Okay, so you get three messages that come with these cards. Your first message comes from the creator of the deck. Your second message and the most important message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition. Right, so it says, chase your dreams, the opportunities are endless. Throughout our lives, we sometimes feel our movements are restricted. Whether it's our career, finances, relationship, travel or living arrangements, we do still need to grow as individuals. We can only do that by breaking old mo oh, old molds and creating new experiences. There is so much potential within you, but you must be willing to be bold and brave. Breaking barriers is only possible when you can overcome your anxiety about moving past physical and emotional boundaries. While it may be comfortable and less risky to stay where you're currently at, you have more opportunities on the other side of the wall. Having the confidence to step forward onto a new path might be a frightening or an exhilarating prospect, so have faith. For moral support, discuss these avenues and your emotions with close friends and family before making any decisions. Right now, your soul is asking you to break away from traditional thinking and to step outside of the box to find solutions to the issues that you're facing. The universe is encouraging your growth right now by giving you gentle nudges to explore new ideas. Healthy emotional and physical boundaries are encouraged now, so establish your personal power by creating new boundaries to balance the give and take in relationships and personal connections. New opportunities will arise when you're ready to take that step forward. Take advantage of the opportunities as and when they come. You have the momentum to push forward with success now if you choose to do so. And the positive affirmation that comes with this card is, I am able to create healthy boundaries, supporting my personal growth and potential. So Capricorn, I'm going to avoid um, repeating basically everything that I've already said. OK, usually we elaborate further on the message. I don't feel there's a, such a huge need to do so in your read um, because literally that in that card, every single one of those messages, we've already gone through in your tarot. Um, it's, it's a confirmation that um, somebody is needing to hear that they have the power and the right as well. They, they absolutely do have the right to uh, create their own life. 
Right, so for those of you who are new to my channel, I do have to give the warning because this is the Rebel deck. This is where the read can get a little bit sweary and quite brutal. It's completely interchangeable. You decide how these cards are divvied out, okay? It, you decide which of these are resonating for you and which of these that you're going to pass on to whoever it is that you're dealing with, right? It's all completely interchangeable, just like the rest of your read, right? So we've got Drop the Fucking Ego, Vulnerability is Hot as Fuck, You're the Shit, Don't Forget It, Stop Texting, Stop Stalking, Stop Checking In on That Person, Just Fucking Stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. We we did see that it was either uh, your soulmate is keeping tabs on you or you keeping tabs on your soulmate. We did see that somebody was keeping tabs on someone else. Don't believe every shitty thought that you have. Thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards. Yeah, fear is a mind killer. Eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. Winning. Mm -hmm. You've got a good thing going, don't ruin that shit. Laugh. Where the fuck's your sense of humour? Whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. And ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. <laughs> okay, let's get a bonus message for you then, Capricorn. Ah... Uh. Let's try that again. It's for Capricorn. There we go. Oh. Okay. Inhale the future, exhale the past. Wow. Yep. <laughs> go get them. Make waves, mermaid. Don't be afraid to upset any kind of apple cart to get the changes that you need. Buy the ticket and take the ride. Yeah. Take the gamble. Nice. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. If you would like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, so I just wanted to do this extra segment at the end of the videos uh, to explain my table theme throughout the month of March. So my table theme is dedicated to a really beautiful kind soul. She's called Karen. I'm not going to give her full name, obviously, because I would like to uh, protect her full identity. Uh, but she's called Karen and she's from the Mulleseat tribe, which means the people of the beautiful river. And she sent me this, I hope I, I hope I can pronounce it correctly. She sent me this Willamaskill, which is sweet grass and it's grown in her territory. And it's actually one of their four sacred medicines. So it's really, really special. Uh, she taught me how to use it properly and how to look after it. And she also sent this beautiful dream catcher as well. And that was actually handmade by a Mi'kmaq elder and I keep this on my wall close to me at all times and she also sent me this beautiful handmade card as well. I am completely and utterly grateful for her kindness and her generosity. It's absolutely incredible and that's why I wanted to dedicate this month's theme purely to Karen and to, to her tribe and to her people, to her culture. Um, it's honestly um, to to have these items that are so utterly special is just so incredible. I'm so grateful. I'm so, so proud as well. Uh, so thank you so much, Karen Wallywan.